deep in the bleak hills of Snowdonia sits May's Artro Heritage Museum, a graveyard of decaying wartime relics, derelict bungalows and underground bunkers. This was once part of a busy airbase for Allied pilots during the Second World War. The rotting military paraphernalia is a unique insight into past lives. But for some, it has assumed a far more chilling resonance. I'd, uh, I'd driven down to see my girlfriend, Lisa. Uh, me and Lisa went to bed in the small bedroom in the bungalow. This guy sort of kneeling at the bottom of the bed. And he got a scar down the side of his face. His eyes were really piercing. Sleep with the light on now. Could the remains of May's Artro Air Base harbour a dark secret? If so, one building seemed to hold the darkest secret of all. It's a place of, of doom. The feeling of being watched all the time. Somewhere in the building, the, the floor is stained in blood. I worked here for three years, and uh, I used to work in the restaurant, which is down the bottom of the site. Sometimes we'd help about on site, the odd jobs, certainly doing painting, anything, any maintenance work. 19-year-old Carolyn Roberts entered May's Artro's derelict decontamination chamber out of misguided curiosity. People have been in there, they've been sick, people have been pushed. They've always felt claustrophobic in there. I was in the middle of the building and we just looked down, there's a corridor bit. It was as if it was, I wasn't meant to be in the building. It was trying to tell me to get out. I felt sick. More than anything, it was fear. But Carolyn Roberts wasn't the only one to say he'd experienced a chilling encounter in the decontamination chamber. I'm a designer and a photographer for a living. But obviously as a photographer, you get to go to lots of different interesting places. So I was just having a general wand around.
I felt like I was in a place I shouldn't be in. I basically ran out of the building. I was running. It was very definitely um, a military person. He was coming for me. If I wasn't to come out, something was going to happen to me. Could the history of the airbase throw any light on the frightening stories surrounding the decontamination chamber? Between 1939 and 1945, there were around a hundred crashes at the base. Dozens of them fatal. But one crash in particular sent shockwaves through Mays Outro. It was um, a Wellington bomber crashed over in the mountains somewhere. On the 6th of April 1942, six Czech airmen took off from the base on a routine flight. Just minutes into the voyage, a crew member radioed through complaining of engine trouble. Seconds later, their RAF Wellington bomber smashed into the surrounding hills. All on board died instantly. As the base mourned the death of their comrades, a dilemma arose. Where should they put the bodies? When the, when the bomber crashed, they laid the crew out in the decontamination centre. It was ideal for laying people out as a makeshift morgue. And he got a, a scar down the side of his face. I wasn't meant to be in the building. It was trying to tell me to get out. It was very definitely um, a military person. The story is that you could see the marks of their arms and legs uh, where, where they'd bled onto the concrete of the mortuary floor. <laughs> <laughs> 